Colorado woman thought she found her dream home, but instead of moving, she's now contacting Denver 7 with a warning. Denver 7's Addie Guajardo has more on a rental scam that almost left this woman out thousands and on the streets. Christina Cimino took her search for the perfect home online. I actually happened to just be on Facebook Marketplace and the three minutes after it was posted, I happened to see it. The three bedroom house was exactly what Christina needed for her family of four. I messaged a gentleman who had it posted. He messaged her to contact the owner, provided a phone number, and she set up a self guided tour. This fits our needs. It's within our budget. It's close to the kids' school. It checked all the boxes. When I said I want to rent it, everything started to unravel. The owner wanted $2,500 up front without a background check or a lease in hand. He goes, do you want to rent or not? With those red flags, Christina did some homework and found a listing on invitation homes for nearly $1,200 more than the price on Facebook. When she confronted him, he told me a story that he was the owner and that he was getting tired of how slow Invitation Homes was taking renting the house. Now we have confirmed Invitation Homes owns this property, so we're going to give a call to the person alleging to be the owner. Are you leasing the property at 3855 yeah, Olaf? You're the owner? Hi, um, I'm a reporter with Denver 7. I'm recording this Hello. phone call. He hung up and called back less than an hour later. Are you scamming people out of money? No. But you're claiming to be the owner of the home on 3855 Olaf? We got nowhere. Invitation Homes offers self-show tours. Potential owners enter their information on the website and receive a one-time code to check out the home. A spokesperson with the company says they're aware of the rental scams tied to their properties and released the following statement. We are always frustrated to hear about these types of scams. Their advice? Watch out for eager requests for cash or wire payments, high security deposits, and if they say a background check isn't needed. Luckily, Christina didn't fork up any money, a lesson she hopes will save others from losing out on thousands of dollars. I don't want other people falling for the scam. Addie Guardo, Denver 7.